sticky. Welcome to my kitchen. This is a daily dose. Have you ever had to make a really, really tough decision and you had crunch time on how to make it, when to make it, and what you're supposed to do? Well, that's occurring with me at this very moment. I am the MPOA for my stepfather who is not doing very well in the hospital um, and some decisions need to be made. So um, that means I would need to travel. A lot of things would need to fall into place for me to travel, but the Lord told me that um, all I had to do was let him take care of it. Remember in the Father Delindo prayer, Oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. So if I'm listening to him and he is giving me the go to do it, then he's going to take care of everything, including the other um, meetings and everything that I had all set up. So I went to Holy Mass. I was looking for a confirmation on uh, when to go, if I was supposed to go. And it's interesting, what I want to share with you is how I got the word of knowledge. Uh, the word of knowledge came in an image as I was at Holy Mass. I saw the word stay and I saw the word go. Stay faded out into the background and go came closer and was full of light. See, got the daily dose. Another one of my confirmations when I get that deep breath. Not all deep breaths, but you have to understand it's contextual. So pay attention to the context in which you are in when you're looking for words of knowledge and these sorts of things. Okay, so um, I got the word go, and then I asked the Lord, when do I go? And I got very clearly the letters that spelled Thursday. See? <laughs> And then when I was supposed to come back, and I got the words, the letters spelt out, Wednesday. So I had gotten in my early morning prayer time, uh, as I prayed with a small group, the Rosary, at about 5.15 in the morning, um, that uh, I was supposed to go. But I wasn't completely sure I wanted a confirmation. Remember, spiritual breadcrumbs discernment markers, confirmations, and fruit. So um, as I got the data points of what was going on with uh, my stepfather, it became abundantly clear that I needed to go closer to him physically. Sure, I mean, I was told, Vicki, everything you need to do, you can handle by the phone or the computer. That wasn't it. I need to go and touch him, pray for him, and give him a scapular. I don't know what the next two days are going to look like. And I don't have to. I just have to know and pay attention to the words of knowledge that I'm getting as I go along the way. Does that make sense? So I wanted to share with you what it looks like for me in making a very tough decision quickly. <sighs> Looking for words of knowledge. I went to Holy Mass. I heard from a couple of the prayer, uh, prayer team. I think you're supposed to go. I was looking for a confirmation. In Holy Mass, I saw the words. Then I saw the words on when I was supposed to travel. And so I just moved forward with that. That's what it looks like. I try not to have any baggage around the decision, such as emotional baggage, too much intellectualization, rationalization, and justification, which puts me into the hamster wheel. So that's what I'm doing. Moving at the pace of peace. And then doing what love requires. So I'm a living testimony of how I'm living that out. How I went to get a word of knowledge. And what it looks like for me. And then just trusting the process. I have to stay the course on trusting the process. That in the surrender prayer. The surrender novena. Oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. And I see how everything is being laid out in front of me. Take care. God bless you. Move at the pace of peace, the sense of purpose. And do what love requires. Amen.